What if there was an automatic way for you to build true wealth and get rich without ever having to think about it? Well, there is. In this video, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you the exact steps you have to do, and I'm going to even show you how to turbocharge it to grow it faster than you've ever imagined. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about how to pay yourself first to get rich. I'm talking about building wealth and it starts with paying yourself. Now, you may have heard that term before. I'm not the first one to invent it. It's kind of an old school concept, really. Um, you may have heard, you know, penny saved, penny earned, um, kind of like that. But, you know, this is I'm going to put I'm going to bring it to the new school way, bring some technology into the mix here. Um, if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you how you can really turbocharge the growth faster than you've ever thought of before. Um, so make sure you stay to the end because you're not going to want to miss that. Now, if you're new to the channel on Thursdays, we talk about investing, uh, investing in cryptocurrencies, which I believe are the most explosive asset in the world. On Tuesdays, we talk about before investing. Uh, we talk about making more money, saving more money, having a better life so that you can invest more, right? And today we are talking about before investing and I'm gonna show you how to build this automatic way to build wealth so that you can invest more. All right, now, first of all, I didn't invent this. I'm gonna put my own little twist onto it, but you could read books if you wanna know more about what I'm talking about, you can read books. Some of the good ones are Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. Uh, the Richest Man in Babylon is really good. Um, there's a book I just finished uh, recently. It's called Profit First, kind of like what we're talking about. Now, Profit First is written for businesses, um, but I think it's a great concept that you could apply to your own personal um, stuff as well. And I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to talk about it more from a personal level. So what I'm going to show you today can work for you, whether you're self-employed, whether you're a W-2 employee, uh, whatever. Anybody can, can use this and apply this. All right. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is we just want to show that um, we take all the money from our paycheck or however we're getting paid, and it goes into a checking account, obviously, right? All our money goes into a checking account, but it's what happens after that. What are the automatic steps that happens directly after that that makes all this system work? And to do that, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go over to the whiteboard and we're going to talk about that. So let's go. All right. Welcome back over to the whiteboard. We haven't done this for a while. It's going to be fun. I like coming over here and drawing some stuff for you guys. So as I said, first of all, you have your money from your job. All of that is going to go into your bank right here. Okay. So all the money goes into your bank. Now this is your traditional uh, brick and mortar bank, wherever you have it, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, PNC, whatever you have, right? Okay. So that's what's happening right now. And then you start spending all this money and it just goes, goes, goes away. And then a lot of times people end up at the end before the next paycheck and wonders where the heck did all the money go? So what we want to do here is we want to automate our savings. And we're going to do that with an online bank. Like I said, I'm going to put this 21st century spin on it. We're going to make this all automatic. And so what we want to do is we want to use um, online banks to do this all automatically. And the reason why we want to use online banks is one, so we can use technology to automate this, but two, because online banks pay a lot higher interest. So the setup is going to be that our money is going to continue going into our brick and mortar bank, just like it does right now. Okay. All the money goes there, but what's going to happen is then we want to come and create new bank accounts online. All right. So we're going to have these different bank accounts. All right. Now these five accounts are going to be used to automate our savings. Now, the re another reason why I like to use online banks is that online banks don't have the fees that your traditional brick and mortar um, do, and they can pay away higher interest rates. Now, typically these online banks can pay uh, 2.25% plus or more where your traditional bank is probably going to pay you not even one percent all right so if your local bank can do this with no fees and give you close to two percent two and a quarter percent then you can go ahead and do it there and maybe they can automate it um, i've seen a pnc bank um, looks to be about the, the highest they're at 2.35 percent and the important thing is, is is what the minimum balance is so pnc bank will do it at 2.35 percent with only a one dollar minimum now for a lot of people you may not be putting a lot of money into these so if you're when you're looking at this make sure you look at what the minimum Minimum balance is required because obviously if it's like a thousand dollar minimum and you're only putting a couple hundred bucks in there and you have to pay fees, it defeats the whole purpose. So you want to look for the highest interest rate and the lowest 
or a, a, a minimum a minimum balance that's within line with what you're going to be putting in there. Now, don't worry about this point, you know, one percent. So from two five to three five or whatever. Um, I mean, don't worry about that too much. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Um, so. Just when you're looking at all the different online banks, like I said, PNC Bank looked to be the best, but don't really worry about it. Really just look, make sure it's in this range and the minimum balance is within line what you want. Now, if that sounds okay, 2.2%, pretty good for today. At the end, I'm gonna show you how to get as much as 10% from an online bank. All right, does that sound good? but you gotta wait till the end. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So we have all these banks right here, right? And these are our accounts. Now, what we want to do is we want to label these for where we want to put our money. So we have a retire account, right? We have like a, a savings account. Uh, we have, let's say we want to have a vacation account. I want to have a car account. And let's say that um, I want to buy a house, right? So then I have my house account. If you already have a house, that could be like another investing account. So, you know, maybe money that you want to invest. Now, what we want to do is these are, the, these are where we want to put our money and we need to figure out how much we want to put in there to make this automatic. So let's say, for example, for retirement, I don't know how, what age you are, how long you have until you retire, but let's say for retirement, you decide you want to um, save 6,000 a year. All right, $6,000 a year goes into your savings account. That's a good amount to put like into a Roth IRA, which can grow tax-free. Um, Roth IRAs are a great way to invest tax-free, have your gains tax-free, especially if you're in cryptocurrencies. If you wanna know more about using Roth IRAs for investing, leave a comment down below, we'll get to that. Uh, so basically what we do is we'd look at, okay, how often am I getting a paycheck? Now for most people, it's every two weeks, right? So most people, it's every two weeks. You can adjust this if you're weekly or monthly. But for most people, it's every two weeks. So if I want $6,000 a year, 52 weeks in a year, so 6,000 divided by 52, and then two weeks, so about $230 out of each check is gonna go automatically. So every two weeks on Friday, let's say on Friday, my check gets deposited, and then automatically, this $230 goes out, just like your taxes probably do, right? <laughs> just like your taxes. So I'm automatically putting $230 in here. Um, then let's say that for my savings. Now for the savings, a lot of people don't have savings. You need to have savings for emergencies. It's so important. I like to say that you should have at least three to six months of living expenses. So what does it cost you to live? period, your rent, your mortgage payment, your car payment, your gas, your groceries, add that up and multiply it at least times three, if not six, that's what you should have there. Um, so let's say that that's, uh, you know what, so let's say we wanna put $50 a paycheck in, into, uh, into our savings. And then vacation. Now, you should take vacations. If you're not taking vacations, you should take vacations. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go to Tahiti or Fiji or Hawaii or wherever you wanna go. Maybe that's just driving down to the coast or to the local lake or whatever, but figure out what vacation you should have a year and plan for it. Do I want to spend $1,000 on vacation? Do I want to spend $5,000 for vacation, right? So figure out what that is, divide it by 52 weeks and then times every two weeks and then put that money in. So let's say that here I'm putting $100 in per paycheck and then a car, saving for a car. Again, same thing on a car. How much do I wanna put in for a car? And let's say that I'll put in $200 for a car and then for a house. Uh, let's say that I wanna save up $10,000 a year for a house. So if I want $10,000 a year divided by 52 weeks times two, I'm looking at about $384 per paycheck needs to be going in there for a house. All right, now here's how this works. So now all this money is going in here and it's starting to accrue. Every two weeks, 230, 230, 230, 50, 50, et cetera, right? You get the point of this. And it's growing at 2.25% or if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you how it grows at 10%, all right? Now, what happens is, let's say that you wanna buy the car, great. What kind of car should I buy? Can I get the Lambo or do I gotta get the Toyota? Well how much money do you have saved up? That's the question. If you've saved up enough money for a Lambo, then go buy yourself a Lambo. If you only saved up enough for a Toyota, then you're buying yourself a Toyota. You're only spending what you have saved up in this account. You wanna buy a house, great. You need 20% down. How much money do you have saved up? 
that's going to tell you how much house you can afford to have. And so some of this stuff could take years and years and years, but it's all being done automatically, just like your taxes are. So your money goes in here every single Friday and it automatically goes out into these accounts and it's growing here and it's at a separate account. These are savings accounts. You don't want to have debit cards for these accounts. These are savings accounts and that way you can't spend the money. You don't go, oh shoot, I want to go to dinner. Let me, let me, let me grab that money, right? So that's the recap. Every two weeks, the money goes in, figure out how much we want to allocate, have the money go out on schedule on autopilot. All right. Now, the reason why we want to automate this, I know a lot of you go, well, I'm just going to do it with my bank. And you know, when I go in to deposit my check, I'll go in there and manually do that. Or I'll write checks and I'll mail them in, or I'll set it up as online banking or whatever. But you really want to automate this because this needs to go without your thinking. If it's, you know, there's always going to be an excuse why you can't do it, why you don't have time to do it or whatever. You can't afford it this month or whatever. But when it happens automatically, then you don't even have to worry about it. And that's going to be the way that you want to build the wealth now. And then when you start, you know, when you start saving for the vacation or the car, there's no question on if you can afford something. Can I afford that vacation? Well, I don't know. How much do I have in my vacation account? It's a simple answer. If you want to save more, save more, but don't spend more than that. Now, the cons of this are one, like I said, you know, you're only making about 2.2% or so. Um, it's not the best. So some people might be tempted to take this money and invest it. All right. Now invest it into cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, uh, invest it into stocks, bonds, ETFs, some of these long-term things like you might be saving for five years for a house, you know, maybe, maybe that might work for you. Maybe you want to go ahead and put those into um, some sort of stocks or ETFs or something like that. Um, but for the most part, this isn't really money that you can afford to lose and save in, in with investing. We say never invest money you can't afford to lose. And so you don't want to afford to lose this stuff. And so you have to be careful. All right. So you're really going to have to just learn to think about things differently and change your paradigm. That's really what it comes down to. And just know that this is building your future. All right. Now, enough of this. Let me tell you what you guys have all been waiting for. How can you get 10% interest? All right. So if you go back and watch um, some of the videos I talked about uh, passive income with cryptocurrencies, I'm going to put the link to it up here, uh, making income with, with cryptocurrencies. Now, what you can do is you can take your dollars and turn them into what's called a stable coin. It's a US dollar pegged stable coin. It's kind of like a cryptocurrency, but it's not. So what they do is for every dollar they, they take on deposit, they issue $1 token. And that token is always redeemable for $1. So it's essentially a dollar. It's a digital dollar. And what you could do is you can take uh, your money here, this $200, and I could trade that $200 in for $200 of digital tokens that are backed one to one. And then I could use a, a platform like Celsius or Nexo, and I could put my US dollar stable coin into their platform and they could pay me eight to 10% interest. Some of them compound it daily. Some of them compound it weekly, monthly. You need to check the terms, Celsius, Nexo, BlockFi. Um, there's a few different ones there. Again, check the video for um, crypt, uh, passive income with crypto. And I go into and break that down, but you can take this dollar convert it into a dollar peg stable coin, and then put it into one of these accounts where you can make this eight to 10%. And it's not volatile like Bitcoin. It's not gonna go up or down. It's just gonna be staying pegged to a dollar. So it's basically like having a dollar here, but instead of making 2%, you're having the same dollar now making eight to 10%. That makes sense? Celsius, Nexo, BlockFi, any of these crypto lending platforms, check them out, see what they pay you on your US dollar stable coins. Um, I believe Nexo will even take your dollars and not even make you convert it to a stable coin if that sounds easier to you. Um, but that's it. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me some thumbs up if you like this video. If you don't, give me some thumbs down. Either way, I want to hear from you. I'd love to have conversations with each one of you in the comments. And that's it. To your success, I'm out.